Wherever you are, wherever you work, if you can get your Lugong equipment there, we can get genuine Lugong parts, service, and support there. Lugong, tough world, tough equipment. Welcome to Intermat News, coming to you from Hall 3 in the Paris Exhibition Centre. I'm Christine Keyes. In breaking news, Chinese company XCMG has confirmed it will buy German firm Schwing, aiming to increase market share in Europe. I think uh, the acquiring will be finished very soon and the uh, uh, Chinese, uh, you know, uh, Sunny already bought the uh, postmaster and uh, our XMG also will merge, uh, will, will, bought, will, will buy swing and I think after that our concrete equipment, uh, the technology and the, the product can be, can, can be very compatible and uh, can be very uh, competitive in international markets. We are paying much attention to European markets. Even now uh, it is still in the session period but still we try very, very hard to open the market here because uh, we know European market is the high-end market, so we want to promote our uh, technology and also our quality. So we must uh, do our products according to European standards. So this is good uh, uh, for uh, promoting our uh, entire image in this area. And another Chinese company, Shantoi, is also looking for acquisitions to give itself a competitive advantage. For Shantoi, we want to look for some uh, potential partner and potential the, the market. And you know, many some other the, the famous Chinese company has very good successful uh, the, the example already in Germany, in the, the France. Our group has purchased take over one engine company in the Maasai. And also we are all group is uh, looking for as the Nix and the process Nix 18 with another potential the, part, the targets already right now. Meanwhile, Intermat organizers are so pleased with the turnout in Paris, they're turning their attention to the Middle East with another Intermat event planned for Abu Dhabi later this year. My first feelings are very good about the third day of uh, Intermat Paris because uh, from, uh, from Monday uh, we have uh, registered around 30% uh, more of visitors than in 2009. So the, the show is very professional but uh, is also very spectacular because the, the exhibitors have, have made a, a very, very fantastic work regarding the decoration of their stands. We decided last year in 2011 to organize the first at Amat Middle East and uh, uh, the, the exhibitors who have um, participated at this uh, show were satisfied. We, we will uh, organize a new uh, session in uh, 2012 uh, from uh, 8 to uh, 10 uh, October in Abu Dhabi in the ADNEC uh, Exhibition Center and this show uh, which will be which will be very helping from the international companies to export in this, uh, in this market, uh, which is growing uh, uh, very, very uh, strongly. And finally, French firm Aulot is predicting strong growth for the company after a couple of tough years. We continue to believe the market keeps recovering. So we had a very tough crisis 2010 and 9. 2011 shows the first sign of uh, significant recovery. This should continue in the coming years. The main question due to uh, small visibility uh, or too small visibility in the market is the speed of this growth. Will it be a more 10-15% or can it be above 20-25% already this year? That's still a small question mark, but definitely the trend is positive and we're anticipating a few good years to come. Today, Asian market remains a small market. Access equipment is a niche product that is mainly offering safety and productivity. So you slowly see more and more interest. You also see some Chinese manufacturers. Today they are mainly selling in the region and not offering the level of uh, safety and service that our big customers are waiting all around the world. But as always with uh, China and Asia, you have to be very careful and uh, no, never underestimate them. They will, they will go in this market, they will make more and more. And that's why we are present today in China, both in sales and manufacturing, to be able to deal with any new competition. 
that's all from Intermat News today. Join me from 2 tomorrow for Intermat Live and from 6 for Intermat News. See you then.